What's up everyone? I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. If you're here in the United States, if you're somewhere else, I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. I guess it's just the 4th of July everywhere, isn't it? That's a pretty, uh, it's not the most complicated name for a holiday. It's not like, uh, I don't know, what's a weird one? Christmas is actually probably the weirdest one, but uh, somehow it seems normal, but that's a weird one. Right? Never mind. I'm not going to break down the names of holidays. That's not why you're here. You're here to watch me open mail. That's why you're here. You're here to watch me open mail and work shirts. Usually what I do. Very rarely do you see me on here in a t-shirt. It's not because I'm professional. It's because my company has a dress code. And right now it just happens to be my lunch break. And this is the best I can do. So I'm going to try and go fast. But there's one package that I know that I got to open here that I'm really excited about because I've been waiting for it for a long time. I did a whole podcast about it at one point And... Uh, I'm gonna to get to that one right away. So let's go. Let's not waste any time because I don't have time to waste. I I wanna get this record open. Oh, sorry, spoiled the surprise already. But it is definitely a record because it came in a calendar box. And as you and I both know, we've broken that down several times. Bad perforation on this one. Look at that, two, two bad tears. Doesn't work, not for my packaging, mine. Okay, and now we got some tape around this. Need, need a violence, a little bit of violence. We'll go with scissors, not a knife. It's much more gentle. Hey, look, behind me, gettingitout.net is up there. There's some news. What is that one? What is that about? That's the new review I put up over this weekend for Panica, a hardcore punk band out of uh, Poland. It's out on Abnegat Records. Uh, you saw me open that record on a previous edition of Getting It in the Mail. Uh, just like I'm doing right now, but this time this stuff is coming from Council Records, which I believe is based out of Illinois. And one of the really cool things that they put out earlier this year was a record from Wrong War, which I actually believe is the guy who does the label. This is a nice little cool poster for that. Wrong War, 9 song, 45 RPM, 12 inch EP. Out this summer, I think that was from last summer, so it's out now, or maybe it's out, maybe it's coming this summer. I hope it is because I want to get that. But look, they put in a little surprise. See, this this record that I'm going to show you here was was delayed quite a few times. I believe they rejected a couple of test press, which I appreciate. You never hear about that. But uh, it's good that they do it because I don't want some record that sounds like total dog shit. I got enough of those. Uh, sometimes the music sounds like total dog shit. But that's because I like music that sounds like total dog shit. Anyway, this does not sound like total dog shit. This is the exact Wrong War album I was just talking about. Uh, they sent a free CD of it, and I am really stoked for that. Uh, it's nice. I like, I mean, I like the traditional jewel case, right? But I also, I also like when you get like these nice little DIY packages, which I don't know if it's DIY. I don't know. I don't know who helped put this together, but I appreciate that they did. Uh, Wrong War, Once Upon a Weapon. Go listen to that as soon as you can. I suggest uh, pausing this and going to listen to that now. Only if you haven't already listened to this. It's going to cost you the new-ish album from Kirby Kiss. I had Kirby Kiss in the podcast earlier this year, uh, Rosie and Michael, and we talked all about this record and the band. And I'm really excited about the way this one looks because it's like this cool copper look. That's a cool looking record. Look at that. I don't usually... It's thick, too. Do you see how thick that is? They say size doesn't matter, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes people like a little girth, at least, and this... This baby's got it. It's a girthy record of uh, hardcore punk, and it's gonna sound awesome. I already know that because they did some quality control on this one. Cool looking sleeve too. I just had to burp. I had to hold it up while I burp. I drank a root beer. I drank a mini can of root beer. I don't know why I do it. I guess because they're here, and they make me burp immediately. Uh, I take little pills too for my little indigestion problems, but uh, yeah, anyway. Now you know about my medication. It's got a nice insert here on, uh, that feels like cover stock. Yeah. All right. Awesome. This is, a, this is a, again, packaging guy here. Well put together record. Worth, worth the money. Worth the wait. Thank you, Council Records, for coming through and for the freebies. I appreciate that. I'm really excited to listen to this one when I have some time later today. Not now. I got to go back to work. But first... You know what time it is. It's how I like to end these things. 
It's Jungle Classic time. What is Jungle Classic? Jungle Classic is a record that I consider classic that I got for relatively cheap off of Amazon. Let's get into this one. I don't have a lot of time. This is a time crunch. This is for one of these records that people revere, myself as well. Um, are, were, they, are they were they as important as uh, we think they are? I think so. I was thinking about this one specifically a lot recently, and I was like, well, did we overblow it? And, uh, you know, there was a lot of activist music in our lifetimes, right? No matter how old you are. But, like, in the 60s when everybody, everybody was doing it, right? It wasn't... And they were all saying the same shit. No, not the same shit, but they all, you know, they all had this, the right idea, the same idea. And then, like, in the, in the 90s, there was nobody really doing that mainstream at any level about something totally different except for uh, Rage Against the Machine, uh, as, as, at least with rock music. And uh, this was the album that started it all. And in my opinion, it's the best one. So glad to finally have it. Like I said, relatively cheap off of Amazon. Go there. See if it's still available. 20th anniversary vinyl edition on 180 gram vinyl, which is always a good sign. That's it for this one. This, by the way, is way better than anything Inside Out ever did, as is all of Rage Against Machine is better than Inside Out. And do, do, do we even need to mention Hard Stance? I don't think so. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I gotta go back to work.